So Randy's got something special for us involving rhubarb. So here's what you need for the recipe today. A rack of lamb, Dijon, some chives, garlic, shallots, rhubarb, honey, red wine vinegar, red wine, and lamb stock. Okay, Randy, we're making lamb lollipops with a rhubarb twist. I'm excited for this one. Oh, you're not the only one. A favorite thing around this household is lamb lollipops. If you're going to go with lamb, yes, a leg is nice. Yes, you can braise it in a stew, but there's just nothing like that rack of lamb. You can pick it up. You know, even the Miss Manners says it's okay to pick it up at the table and just like gnaw off the bone. And that's what we're really after here. So a perfect thing, everyone thinks mint sauce with lamb, and it is tasty, I'll give you that, and mustard, that kind of stuff. But rhubarb is in season, it's just coming out, and nothing makes me happier than rhubarb. It's just like the perfect vegetable for me because it's just so kind of tangy and sour and just has that like bang to it, and that's exactly what I adore. So today, Tracy, we are making a lamb gastrique. Do you know what a gastrique is, Tracy? No, but it sounds very fancy. Please tell us what that means. <laughs> yes, we oui, we. Oui. It is very French, you know, and um, very fancy. And basically what we're doing is we're going to elevate the flavors in our sauce with two things, with honey, which is sugar, Oh, and vinegar and that's the balance so a classic gastrique is actually with sugar and vinegar but today we're actually going to use honey and vinegar and what that does it just takes the rest of the flavors in the sauce and just brings it right up so I'm going to caramelize off some garlic and shallots real quick and a little bit of butter and then hit it with some creamed honey this is local stuff and you're going to see this in the overhead this stuff's just going to bubble up and get all oh yeah melty and delicious so this is really where a lot of our flavor comes from tracy because we're going to caramelize that honey and once it starts to get a little bit of a darker color that's really going to help us out yeah. in goes the rhubarb and i've just like chopped it up into little bite-sized pieces here now tracy when you were a kid did you eat a lot of rhubarb or was that a weird thing I barely ate any rhubarb, and even to this day, I don't really bake or cook with it, but I will purchase, like, things with rhubarb in it. I know, I know. Don't faint. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. You know, that's okay. That's, it's all about education <laughs> as well. You know what? Next time you're at the farmer's market, buy yourself one of these stocks. Like, just go out and get one and yeah. you can threaten your kids kind of like with nunchucks <laughs> and stuff and like have your kids bet them that they can't take a bite out of it. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's not edible. It's not, it's not. Mm. Oh. How's that taste? Mm. It's like, just wakes you up. It's better than a coffee, Tracy, no <laughs> doubt. It's glorious. So our rhubarb's going, everything's going. Now we're gonna deglaze equal amounts of vinegar as we put in honey. And you're going to see that's going to kind of create a bit of a reaction there. And once that reduces down by about half, which should be shortly, we are going to go in with red wine. And then once the red wine reduces by half, we're going to put a little bit of beef stock in. So, Tracy, my rack of lamb, I couldn't roast it off in real time because the perfect way to, rack, to roast a rack of lamb is to clean it down, season it, sear it on one side, sear it on the other side, then roast it for like six or seven minutes mm -hmm. and pull it out and then let that lamb rest for another four or five minutes. And what that's gonna do, is just gonna allow everything to kind of warm up in the middle and then roast it again for like seven or eight minutes until you get an internal temperature of 125. Then you gotta let it rest one more time, which is where we're at. And now we can actually go to work here and kind of dress it up with a little bit more flavor. I mean, like lamb is pretty flavorful as it is. But what we're going to do is just rub it down, just kind of like arts and crafts with the kids. Paint it with a little Dijon mustard here. All right? And this is like my fun thing. This is what I like doing at home. Is I get a bunch of chives. These actually came from the garden. I mean, everything's starting to sprout again. This is like a glorious kind of celebration with the rhubarb. Put that down on the board and then just roll your lamb oh, over the chives. Oh, I like where this is roll going. And you get this like... Oh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Right? Isn't that gorgeous? And I mean, flavor-wise, too, it's going to help out. So now we've got our gastric going. Caramelize the honey. Deglaze with vinegar. Bring that down. Bring it down the red wine. Finally, our beef stock, lamb stock, whatever you have kicking around, that goes in. Now, it's going to be another, like, four or five minutes to cook that down. But we're going to take all that acidity that's going to come out of the rhubarb 
and it's gonna kind of make this jam slash kind of saucy kind of look, but check out the color of this. Okay. And it's just absolutely glorious. It's kind of like a cross between acidity and sweetness. We're gonna put that on the plate just like that in the middle. And then we're just gonna give this plate a little shake and it's gonna come down and out and oh, you ready for this? Ready. So we've got like the red wine going on, everything's in there. You can kind of tell the rhubarb and then we're just gonna like shake that down. Nice. Clean it up here. Right? So now the sauce is ready. It's ready to go for a dance with the lamb. You're gonna take yourself a nice big knife here. And I go two bones because, you know, Catherine likes bigger portions. I don't go single bones because that's for kids. And I just gonna <laughs> carve this up like that. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do it, Trace, we're gonna go big, right? That's right. And then we're gonna take that lamb and just stack it up. It's beautiful. Like that. As always, you can find that recipe online at cityline.tv.